Well, as we look forward, um, a lot of exciting things are happening. So uh, you might be aware that uh, um, in, even in your desktop machine now, uh, uh, companies and uh, um, uh, vendors are looking to make things more energy efficient, more green. Uh, you know, we never really thought about this a few years ago. We we just bought the computer at a store, and we bought supercomputers the same way. Uh, whatever was the best uh, uh, for a particular job. Now we really take into account well how much is uh, electrical power is that going to draw. So we are um, actively uh, monitoring what different applications use and are looking for strategies to uh, improve that. Uh, right now we have some applications that take you know, 31 kilowatts per rack and other applications that uh, maybe only take 25. And so being able to understand that and look at ways to optimize that and maybe run these uh, in the evening or at other times uh, are, is another research direction we've been exploring. That trend has just started to happen and uh, Argon is right in the middle of that trend, trying to understand what the architectures are best, what architectures are best for this. And uh, it's something that we're going to see only become more important uh, in the next five to ten years. The first part of this is designing that machine room to be as efficient as possible, to bring the, either the cold water or the air directly to the computer so that it's, uh, uh, there's no waste. And then we use environmental things like uh, the cold water that Chicago winters give us uh, to cool the machine. So that's part one. Part two is that we design from the beginning with the vendor how to make the machine more energy efficient. So uh, if you wait until uh, technology develops and then you try to stitch it all together to make a supercomputer, you're not going to end up with something that's uh, energy efficient. So we work hand in hand with IBM on the design of the blue gene and uh, from the very beginning, setting limits. We, this is the power limit. We need uh, to find new ways, you know, create innovation here in order to deliver a, a system that's green uh, as well as solving our science problems.